Hello guys, welcome to Music Teach and Tech. Today we're going to learn how to make cover song in band love for music education. So before we start, checklist number one, make sure that you are in the right website. So that's edu.bandlove.com. And make sure that you're using your computer or your um, laptop, both Windows or Mac, for you to have a smooth workflow while you are doing this cover song. And you can also use Google Chrome or Mozilla browser. So let's get it started. So first, open your BandLab for Music Education. Log into your account. Okay. And go to your class. As you can see, this is the instruction for your cover song term project. So you will not click anything here. What you're going to do first is you're going to go to your mix editor. Go to your mix editor. And you're going to create your new project. So open mix editor, start personal project. There you go. And this window appears, then you're going to choose voice or mic. Okay, to check your microphone, make sure to hover your mouse um, at the bottom part, left side of your desktop. So you can see here, select here the input. So I'm using my personas um, line in. So I selected this one, that's my default. So if you're using your USB microphone, select your USB microphone. If you're using your default um, computer microphone, so you can select microphone array realtic audio. So in my case, I'm going to go back to my default. And to check whether your microphone is working, you can see here in the middle, the meter, right? That's your meter. So loud and if it's it's clipping red, it means to say it's very loud. So for you to be able to fix this problem, you need to just move away from the microphone a little bit or from the source, from your computer for you to be able to record clean signal, okay? So now that we're good, now the we can try if it's working the microphone. So just click the track. This is your track, right? Then hit record. Sound check of the microphone. Sound check. One, two. Okay. Sound check of the microphone. Sound check. Okay, so it's working. So let's delete this one right click and delete okay next after checking the microphone once the microphone is working we need now to add our backing track so you can grab any backing track that you have from your phone or from your computer or you can download online so in this case for example i'm going to download my backing track it's titanium so let's just download from my channel and i'm going to paste it here you can use any converter that you have I'm going to download that. Okay. Okay, so here's my downloaded file. Let's play that. It's working. So how to upload this file in BandLab for Music Education um, Mix Editor. So what you're going to do is very simple. Just click the file and drag it there. As simple as that. There you go. So as you can see now, we have now two tracks. We have the vocal and we have this um, backing track. So, for example, you can edit that. You can rename that. Uh, let, let's rename, for example, backing track, right? Okay. And then... Okay, so that's that's it. So um, then once you finish that, what you're going to do is very simple. You just need to listen if the backing track and the voice, they are like balanced. So let's listen.
Okay, if you hear that you're a little bit delayed, you can drag it because it's online. So you can drag it a little bit. So let's drag it a little bit to the left because we're a little bit delayed. Here you go. So guys, for us to add um, an effect, so make sure to click the right track. So let's um, let's click the voice. Okay, as you can see now, it's already selected. Then add an effect. Let's add first an EQ. So there you go, an EQ. For this basic tutorial, guys, um, I'd like you to cut your base at least minus 12 dB. Then mid list here this is just a basic settings and let's add some highs okay and then after that let's add compressor so compressor is in dynamics click dynamics then click dg compressor so here don't touch anything here um, just touch the ratio, make sure it's in three, three, six, one. Can you see that? You just need to drag it all the way to the left. Then your threshold, you drag it to the left till you hear that all the sounds are already the same. Did you hear that? Because of the compressor, now all of the vol, um, the sounds of um, my wave file is already even. So now that we're already good, now the last effect that we're going to add, guys, is the reverb. So let's add um, a reverb. So let's try to add the studio reverb. Okay. So while you are um, adding reverb, make sure to listen to your track it's too much right so you're going to lessen that okay this is this is what you're going to control how much you want it to be heard in your mix better size let's lessen the size the smaller the better perhaps Okay, that's perfect. Did you hear that? So, just dial your... Perfect. So, just dial your mix knob and set it here and um, at uh, 11 o'clock. If you're looking at the watch, you can see here, all the way to the left, it's 3.8. You adjust the color. It depends on what you like. So, use your ears, okay? and the size 1.6 so this is my option so let's listen one more time to my output i'm very happy with my work so it's nice yes so um guys remember this is just the basic setting it's okay and let's have a recap so for you to be able to um find your source or if you want to go back to the source and you want to hide your effects you go to the bottom guys the bottom part of your um mix editor and you click source and you will be able to see that's your microphone already right so if you want to go back to your effects you want to edit your effects just click this if um effects here tab and there you go right so now you're already finished. So if you're already happy, you already adjusted the volume. You already put the effects. For example, you're already happy with this output. You're going to name now your project. So what is the name of your song? For example, my song is Titanium 
cover by Chris. So you're going to write your name. So, for example, mine is titanium, so I'm going to write titanium cover by Chris. If your song, for example, is um, arcade, so you're going to write arcade cover by, let's say, Arda. Okay? And then, the last, the last but not the least, you're going to hit save. There you go. Okay, now that it's already saved the project, click go back to your library. There you go. And go to your band lab for music education. Then go to your class. For example, in this um, tutorial, um, Circus Studio Activity. Start assignment. Then there you go. You're going to choose personal project. Why do you need to choose personal project? Because you're going to select the one that you just finished, your cover song right so you're going to click personal project and you're going to find your latest cover song in this case here it is that's my cover song here so you're going to click that and hit next and now it's loading now it's uploading now the last step that you're going to do guys is very simple here's your song okay that's the full song um i didn't complete that okay <laughs> but yours you need to complete from the beginning till the end so that's your full song guys and now what you're going to do is just click submit you can write your um comment then click submit there you go so now you're already done with your cover song term project okay so i hope this tutorial helps guys so if you have any questions just let me know so good luck and have fun making music bye bye